Hey guys, welcome to my 38 week bump date. I am full term, past full term, could go into labor any day now. Obviously I haven't yet, hence why I'm making this video, but I'm hoping any day now that baby comes. But for now, at 38 weeks, baby is the size of a leek. Don't, I don't really eat leeks. I don't really know what they are. So uh, that is the size, about 19 inches and about seven pounds. This week, there's not really much going on with baby because we're at the end now. So it says fingernails and toenails are are fully formed. Also, they have a layer of fat to smooth out their skin and more hair growing on their head. So really not much new going with baby. They're basically done growing. So how I'm doing this week has been really, really rough. This has probably been one of the hardest weeks of my whole pregnancy. I have been so emotional. <laughs> lately um, just personal things going on in my life but then also frustration with this pregnancy and the end of it which I'll tell you guys about and I'm just gonna preface this it's gonna sound like I'm venting and maybe I am maybe I am just gonna vent this whole vlog <laughs> but I'm just so tired <laughs> of being pregnant feeling like this and it doesn't seem like there's an end in sight and so it's really hard every day for me right now. Symptom wise, I'll just start with there. Um, obviously, I've been very emotional. My heartburn has been pretty bad. It'll just have flare up randomly all the time. I have to take Tums before I go to bed every night as I've been saying the past several weeks. Otherwise, I will just have like heartburn constantly. So I'm staying on top of that. Unfortunately, my kids have given me a cold, which has not help my mood and my energy. So I have a sore throat right now and a runny nose. Um, seems like just a mild cold, but not something you want when you're already miserably very pregnant. So just not great timing for that. But what are you gonna do, you've got kids. I've been getting leg cramps here and there not too often but still getting them my back hurts random times still doing the belly band at night which seems to help my belly has been itchy here and there i think it's just from like growing and the skin stretching it's nothing too like overly crazy it's just like itchy and i'm at the point where like none of my shirts fit so i can't even find something to cover the whole bump at night i can do pregnancy shirts and they're fine. My underwear like does not fit because my bump is so big. <laughs> I can't even like hardly reach down to shave my legs because my bump is so huge. <laughs> I find that I have a very short fuse nowadays. I'm just so tired and exhausted. I really just want to like lay around and do nothing all day every day but I have two young kids and I feel bad for not doing anything with them. It's crummy weather outside like this whole past week so we haven't really been able to do much. So it's been a struggle. My oldest is on spring break this week so he's been home every day and that's been really tough. Again, not the best timing. I've been having Braxton Hicks all the time but nothing regular, unfortunately. Pregnancy insomnia has been really, really bad this week, probably tying into the emotional state that I've been in because I am so tired. I wake up two to three times at night to go to the bathroom and usually about one of those times I cannot fall back asleep. I just cannot turn my brain off. There's too much going through my head with frustrations that I'm having in my life. And so I just lay there in bed for hours. And so that happens a lot. It's been happening a lot. The pregnancy insomnia is really, really bad. I can't get comfortable. Baby has been active, but she's getting lower and so it hurts. She, her movements have been hurting. So this week I had my 37 week doctor's appointment and I'll tell you about it. I already mentioned uh, it, about it on the vlog, so go back and watch that if you want to, but I'll recap it here because I know some people only watch these types of videos 
and this is part of the frustration that I've been having so I'll tell you guys how it went so I went to my appointment and my doctor was running late she was in a surgery uh, so I had to wait an extra 20 minutes totally get that totally fine took my weight I did gain a pound or two so that's good because like the past month I hadn't gained any weight so that was good they did my blood pressure and it was I thought it was low, it was like 102 over 70 or something, and usually I feel like my top number is in the 120s, but I googled it and 102 is actually super normal, and they would have told me something if it wasn't. I have been having um, shortness of breath a lot, even though I swear she's gotten lower, but still can't really get too big of breaths in for some reason. They had me undress again uh, from the waist down because they were going to check me again, and so I had to wait like half naked for 20 minutes in my room. Not fun, but it is what it is. Anyway, my doctor came and this is kind of where the frustration came. So she asked me how I was doing and I said, I'm just really frustrated and over it and blah, 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 blah. All my problems that I've been telling you guys. And she had me lay back. She measured my belly. I'm measuring right on track like I am every single time. And then found baby's heartbeat. I think it was 145. Shoot, now I can't remember. I don't know. All the other details are kind of clouding that. It was a good heartbeat. And then she checked me and I am one centimeter dilated. So I did make a little bit of progress because if you remember the first time they checked me last week at 36 weeks, I was like half of, I was like a fingertip, I think they said I was. Now I'm a one centimeter so obviously the things that I've been doing at home have been helping a little bit I guess so that was encouraging but still I was hoping to be way more than just one and then this is where the frustrating part kind of came is she asked me uh, if I wanted to be induced and I said yes uh, I want to be induced as early as I can and I remember asking you last week and you said the earliest that I could be induced would be 39 weeks which would be um, next week on Wednesday because I go and see my doctor and then like two days later I turn the next week so it's kind of confusing the timelines but it basically would have been next week on a Wednesday is when I turn 39 weeks that's one week before my due date so she looked at the calendar and then she was like, oh, actually I'm gonna be out all next week on vacation. And that's where it started to go downhill. I guess I'm sure she didn't explain where she was going. I'm assuming it's spring break. Everybody's going on spring break now a days uh, at this time of the year. My sister had spring break last week. My son had spring break this week. I know some of the schools have next week and the following week and whatever she's gonna be out all next week. And so she was like, can we just schedule to induce you on your due date on April 5th? And I was like, I really like it to be earlier than that. I really don't want to have to wait until 40 weeks. She told me the best she could do would be the Friday before my due date, which is like the 31st of March. And she said two things with that. One, it would be a wait list. So they would only take me if they had room, which I understood she had told me that beforehand because it's elective, it's not necessary. Like it's just, if it's available, you can go. If not, they're just gonna push you to the next day. Totally get that. But she said, because she's not there and she's on vacation, she has to ask the on-call doctor if she's okay with me being put on the wait list and potentially going in because then she would be on call and responsible for me for like labor and whatever. Funny enough, the doctor that's on call next week is my old doctor who I had for my first two pregnancies. So that was actually kind of funny. She was like, I will ask her if she's okay with that and then I will let you know. So anyway, that was not 
what I wanted to hear. I wanted to be put on the wait list starting on Wednesday because even if Wednesday didn't work, then I'd still have Thursday or Friday before a weekend because of course they won't call you in on the weekend. If you aren't called on Friday, then you have to wait until the following Monday. And so now if I get put on this wait list on Friday, then I just have Friday. And if that doesn't work, then I have to wait a whole weekend until Monday and still wait. Ah, so super frustrating. Yeah, that's kind of where we ended it. I asked if she still wanted to see me next week and she said yes, but I didn't really put two and two together of she's out next week. Like she's not even gonna be able to take appointments next week. And I didn't realize that until I had gone to the front desk and said, oh, I need to schedule an appointment. And they were like, oh, she's out next week. Well, duh. So now I'm meeting with a nurse practitioner um, instead of my doctor, because my doctor is out of town. I've never met with a nurse practitioner before, so I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna go, what happens, is it the same? I asked them at the front desk, and they said it's all the same, but I don't know. So I have an appointment next Tuesday, which would be the day before I turn 39 weeks with a nurse practitioner. I don't know if they're gonna check me for dilation or not. Like, I just, I have no idea how it's gonna go. So we will see and then I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna know if I'm gonna be put on this wait list or not because my doctor told me she would let me know if the on-call doctor would be okay with me being put on the Friday wait list. But then if she's gonna be out of town, how am I gonna know? I should have asked more questions, but she was in a rush because she was already late to my appointment, probably had a million other appointments to get to. So it just, yeah, the whole thing just really frustrated me. So I'm basically stuck with no answers. I feel like every time I go to my doctor's appointment, I just get let down over and over and over again because I go in there expecting to have answers and I come out with no answers and still being up in the air. I'm sure it's nothing abnormal. I'm sure this happens to a lot of people, but it's just very frustrating to me and I'm allowed to feel frustrated. So basically right now I might be induced on Friday the 31st. I might not. I don't know. So I have to wait until uh, next Tuesday, which is a little less than a week away because today's Thursday. And I will meet with this nurse practitioner, see, hopefully see if I'm dilated more, maybe not. And I guess I'll just have to ask her like if I'm gonna be put on this wait list or not. And if she doesn't know, then, then I don't know. I'm hoping my doctor will inform the nurse practitioner to tell me, but I'm worried that that won't happen. I don't know. So yeah, a little frustrating. Um, everything's still up in the air kind of feels like it's kind of up to me to kind of make labor happen. So I'm trying everything under the sun to try to make my body go into labor. Obviously it's not happening right now. I'm bouncing on a birthing ball as much as I can, but after a while it really hurts my back so I can't do it too much. I'm eating dates. I'm drinking a cup of raspberry leaf tea every day. I went and got the Starbucks TikTok drink that's supposed to put you in the labor. It's a iced passion fruit tea with lemonade and four pumps of raspberry. Trying that, I've had that twice now, nothing. I'm walking as much as I can. It's cold and rainy out this whole week, so I haven't been able to do that much. But walking around in Target, inside places, trying to do that. I'm doing nipple stimulation. I started doing that. I got my pump out. It does seem to cause Braxton Hicks, but nothing really has come of it. I have been collecting some colostrum, so that's been exciting, I guess. I've been storing that for baby. So yeah, I'm just trying everything I can to make this baby come. Unfortunately, my body just seems to hold on to pregnancies. My first two, they both went past due dates. So I'm just not feeling very confident that I'm gonna be able to make my body go into labor, but I'm trying as hard as I can to make my body go into labor. So we'll see how that goes. I have definitely been into nesting mode. I've got basically everything ready for a baby. This past weekend, Anthony helped me. We kicked my second 
born out of the nursery. He's now in his big bedroom or big boy room or whatever. And we were able to fix the crib. We raised the uh, mattress so it's at the newborn height. I got out the sheets and did that. I moved the closet, switched the closets over. I have gotten out the diapers and stacked them. I've got diapers here in the bassinet. I've got diapers in the nursery room and I've got diapers downstairs, so lots of stuff. I went and got snacks for the hospital, so I got that all ready to go in a bag. Got my breast pump out, make sure that's all working. So I was feeling really good after this weekend. Like I feel like I'm totally ready for baby to come. I've got basically everything ready to go. The only thing I haven't done yet is wash all the baby clothes, which I still need to do. But other than that, everything is done and ready. I have not installed the baby car seat yet. We're still trying to figure out what car we're gonna take to the hospital because I was thinking of taking our minivan, but then my mom needs a car to drive the kids around while I'm in the hospital because my parents are gonna watch the kids for us while we're in the hospital. But I don't really wanna take my husband's two-door Jeep because it's very hard to get into the back seat because it's two-door and with a big honking car seat, like that just seems really impossible. So not exactly sure what car we're gonna take, but I guess we'll figure that out. But other than that, we're basically ready for baby girl to come. We've got it all set up, everybody's ready. I just wish she would come. Like I just, I feel like everything's in its place and my parents are on standby, they're in town, they're staying and I'm just, I wish it would happen. I wish it happened now, <laughs> but it hasn't. <laughs> yeah, I just, I'm just very frustrated this week, if you can't tell. I've already said it a million times, so sorry that if this is like such a negative, I just feel like people keep letting me down. Or maybe I just set too high of expectations, which my husband says that I regularly do. And I need, and I'm a very much a control freak. Like I need to have control of situations. I, I'm a planner, and so I think I just need to like step back and let things happen. But that's just not my personality. I hope I don't make a 39 week update, but knowing my luck, I probably will end up making a 39 week update. And hopefully that will be the last one. Hopefully I will be induced before my due date. But that seems like it's up in the air and. And maybe like a 25% chance that that will happen. Bummer. Anyway, I will show you guys a 38 week bump date so you can see my belly. You can let me know does it look like baby's dropped or not? I don't know. I don't know that she has or not, but I'll let you be the judge. Okay, here is my 38 week bump. Feels like I'm like hiding a ball under my shirt. Like that's what it looks like in the camera right now. <laughs> But here it is, does it look lower? I don't know that it necessarily does. <laughs> here it is from the front. And then, yeah, the sides. Oh, baby is comfy in there, but I feel huge. <laughs> but I think that's gonna be it for this vlog. Sorry, it's kinda longer. I just, I guess I need a event session. And it's easy to vent to you guys. The main thing is baby is healthy and I'm healthy, except for a cold. And so that's the main thing. She still gets hiccups all the time. She moves all the time. So I know she's doing well. I just wish she was on the outside. <laughs> so I could cuddle her and see what she looks like and just get on with life and not be pregnant. <laughs> so I will keep you guys as updated as I can. Make sure to subscribe because you're not gonna wanna miss my drama. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what I have to say next week. Hopefully it's good news, but knowing my luck, probably won't be. So, um, thanks so much for watching these videos. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.